Come in, come in. Whoa! 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 Your hallway is a big slide, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> 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 is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? <laughs> ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear, my poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There. You're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump daddy pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. Oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> Actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Bye bye, little ones. Bye bye, Granny. Bye bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. 
<laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Bye-bye, Mr Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho. Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss. Hello, Hello boss. boss. Hello, lads. Here's the sand. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty-ho. There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. <coughs> Sorry to catch you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. Next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. <laughs> This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Uh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. Tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And, and me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? Me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way! <laughs> Follow me, everyone! <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash. Jumping up and down. How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. <gasps> 
There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes. Everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! <laughs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle, I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. Oh, it is. Is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? George, you forgot to close the door. <coughs> Polly will have flown away. <coughs> Don't worry, Pepper. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <coughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. <coughs> Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? Ah! It's Polly! Hooray! Ah! But, Daddy, how are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah! Don't worry, Pepper. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. Ah! Bad seed! <laughs> I wonder where George is going. <laughs> George has got Polly's bird seed. Polly loves to eat bird seed. Ah! Ah! <laughs> George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! Hooray! What's that noise? Daddy Pig's mobile phone is ringing. What? Oh. Hello? Oh, Granny Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Please, may I talk to Polly? Yes, of course. Hello, 
It's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. <coughs> oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! Oh. If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. It's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Peppa, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Peppa. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. <laughs> but you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. <laughs> George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. 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 What's that? Wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> I loved surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> it was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something 
was outside the tent. Was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! <coughs> oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! Ah! It's a wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh! Mr Wolf has come to take Wendy Wolf home. All the parents are here to pick up the children. Bye-bye, Cowboy Pedro! Bye-bye, everyone! Are you coming in, Pedro? I want to pretend sleeping a bit more. OK. Mummy, can I come in now? Yes, my brave little cowboy. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? <laughs> yes. Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic. Daddy Pig. You've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes. But it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. This way. Oh, who put that tree there? It's not on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost, aren't we? Uh, yes. How are we going to find our little car? <laughs> George has found more footprints. What big footprints? Dinosaur. Very interesting. What? Has George found some real dinosaur footprints? No. These are our footprints. And if we follow our footprints, we'll find the way back to our car. And our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop us finding our car now. We're home and dry. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, I remembered the umbrella. The rain is washing the footprints away. How are we going to find the car now? And our picnic. <laughs> it's the ducks. They always turn up at picnics. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We haven't got a picnic this time. We can't find it. <laughs> I know. Mrs Duck, can you help us find our picnic, please? <laughs> We're here! Hooray! Thank you, Mrs. Dunn. <laughs> I love nature trails. Yes, and I love picnics. And the ducks love picnics. And the little birds love picnics. And the ants love picnics. Everybody loves picnics. Now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh! What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh. Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! <laughs> Daddy, can I paint the cherries? Yes, Pepper. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. <laughs> <laughs> there, the painting is finished. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. We're painting a picture. 
<laughs> the ducks are running through Daddy's paint. Shoo, shoo, naughty ducks. Shoo, ducks, shoo, stay away from our painting. <laughs> oh, no, the ducks have made paint footprints all over the painting. Oh, dear. What was all that noise? Mummy, the ducks have spoiled our painting. Hmm, let me see. The ducks are making paint footprints in the garden, just like the ones on the painting. Daddy's painting isn't spoiled, Pepper. It's perfect. Hooray! Oh, yes. I am a bit of an expert at painting. And so are the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on, then. Ooh. <laughs> 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 this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Pepper. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oops-a-daisy. Ho, ho. Silly Daddy! <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Pepper. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Pepper how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop. Look out! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes. I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. What does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Oops. Silly me. Aha! This must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops, not that one. This button. <laughs> Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one! one. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car likes us too, don't you? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> you have to be very, very careful with China. Why? Because China can break very easily. <laughs> That's why I always... <gasps> oh, dear. Mr Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not going to work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. There we are. Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh, dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> Oh, these two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well done, Peppa. I'll glue those bits together. <laughs> George has also found two pieces that fit. Well done, George. <laughs> Nearly finished. That's the lid. There's just this funny shaped bit left. Where does that go? <laughs> the teapot's handle, Miss Rabbit. Oh, so it is. I don't know much about china teapots. It's as good as new! Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <coughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Airplane! Yeah! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> Yes, George, you can sit next to a window, too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! <laughs> Look, Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Can only do fruit. OK, can I be...? A plum! There. Peppa is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up! Roll up! For your lucky dip! Moo! Hello, Peppa! Hello, Mr Bull! You've got a green face! I'm an apple! Ooh! Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK! What do I do? 
Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the Mummies and Daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh! And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Come on, Daddy! Oh. Come on, Daddy! Oh. Keep oh. going, Daddy! Oh. Come on, Daddy! Oh. And my mummy is the winner! Oh. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Lots, Lots of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to cross the river? Yes, please. <laughs> Oh, stop, Daddy Pig. There's no more room. Oh. Bye-bye, Daddy. Don't worry. I'll come straight back for you. Bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! <laughs> Picnic spot. Everybody off. Thank you, Grumpy Rabbit. Daddy Pig is still waiting to get across the river. Hello, Mr Pig. Here are the wolf family. What are you doing here? We're having a picnic. Would you like to join us? Yes, please, Mr Pig. Ah, more passengers. Uh, women and children first. <laughs> oh, stop! Uh, the boat is full. Oh. oh. I'll be straight back for you two. Bye-bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a big fat wolf, don't forget to shriek. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Wendy. We're joining your picnic. Oh, goody. But where's Daddy Pig? I left him with Mr Wolf. I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry, we've got the picnic. All aboard! Oh, stop, Mr Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here! Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Oh. Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic! <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic! Oh, oh, you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr Pig. The Mr Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. Night-night, <sighs> Pepper and George. Night-night, my little piggies. 
Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, ba da 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 da. Boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning, Miss Rabbit. Aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. And her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <laughs> it's okay. I've caught it. <laughs> oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. <laughs> Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the Queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye. Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you! Hooray! Ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in! Oh no, I'm stuck too! Help! Hello! Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> Ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Help! Help! We're, We're stuck! stuck. Ho, oh, oh, ho, that usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. Ah, yes, I'm stuck. 
Lucky I've got my phone. Hello? Rescue service? Oh, you're in here too? Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us? We're here, Daddy. <laughs> we will rescue the grown-ups. That tickles. Hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I can reach it. I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. <laughs> oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised not to let the children get muddy. I think you will find we promised not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next-door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. 
Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger ride. <laughs> Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh. oh. <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. This is fun! Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sand castle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack the soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy. OK, Peppa. <laughs> Pedal faster, Mummy. Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. <sighs> Here comes George with a demolition digger. <laughs> oh dear, George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George, you naughty piggy. <laughs> oh, ho ho, building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back. Forward, down, hooray! We've got the dinosaur! Oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello, can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm. Maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Pepper and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. 
Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Pepper, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Pepper. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see, it's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow! All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. <laughs> Children, if you want a story about a pirate, say aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. I must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just a story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Oh, oh, I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden days hat? How about a dragon? Me! All the children are making dragons. <laughs> Those dragons are good. Almost like the real thing. Dragons are not real. They are mythical creatures. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Actually, the correct term is child prodigy. <laughs> Making things was fun. And we've still got lots to see and do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are we staying here tonight? We certainly are. Yes, I was hoping we could find a hotel nearby, but... I thought camping would be more fun. Yay! Camping! Great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain! Wow! wow. Let me try! Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the Daisy Queen, Peppa. Yes! 
I am the Daisy Queen. <laughs> look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the Daisy Queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. <laughs> And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. <laughs> George likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen. And this is George the Lion. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, oh, I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow. How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> Are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. My favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Peppa. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my. What wonderful costumes. Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. <coughs> Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes. So be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. 476,859,312. Oh, what an amazing choice. Ah, George, you are dressed as... Dinosaur. <laughs> but where is Pepper? Here I am. Ooh. What book are you, Pepper? I am all my favourite books. I have fairy wings, a pirate hat, a har, a red monkey tail, and quack quack duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> Peppa loves World Book Day. Everyone loves World Book Day. And surprise Daddy! What a good idea! Come on, George! <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> Even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy, there's just one more. Come on, George, follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Peppa <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. 
<laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me! <laughs> We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy! Oh, oh, it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. Don't worry, George. Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! <laughs> uh, yes. Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense. I know exactly how heavy I am. There. Hooray! Daddy Pig has rescued the kite. Whoa. Oh, dear. Everyone is covered in mud. <laughs> it's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Daddy Pig hasn't hurt himself. And the kite is out of the tree. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, now that we're all muddy, can we jump in the puddle? I suppose so. After all, you can't get any muddier. <laughs> And I think Daddy Pig is going to be doing the washing. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles is just as much fun as flying the kite. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling police officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into Police Officer Panda. OK! <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good braking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed to go. be taught. Ooh. Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh, yes. Ring bell. Brakes! Oh, yes, brakes! Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you! You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. <laughs> Very good. But of course, there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh, yes. We're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like 
Uh... The police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina! Woo! Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh. Who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. <laughs> And remember, always look where you're going. Then... <laughs> Dr Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness. Call an ambulance. The ambulance is here. Oh, yes. Everyone into the ambulance. <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Have a sticker. Have a sticker. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. It's coming from the tree. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Naughty Tiddles, come down at once. I can shake the tree to get Tiddles down. Is that a good idea, Pedro? Don't worry, I am Super Pedro. Ow! Oh dear, what has happened? Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose. My nose hurts. Poor Pedro, I will call for the doctor. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped nose, you say? I'll be right there. Hello. Where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... You need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. <gasps> a pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal. 
Don't worry. I know exactly where we are. This way. Oof. Who put that tree there? Daddy Pig has walked into a tree. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. This way. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. I don't think we'll ever find our house again. <laughs> I'm sure we will, Peppa. We're only in our garden. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Have you lost your pond? <laughs> We're lost too. We are not lost. I know exactly where we are. <laughs> See you later, ducks. Good luck finding your pond. Whoa. Oh! Daddy Pig has found the duck pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Mrs Duck says thank you. You're most welcome, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's find our house. I'm sure it's this way. Hello. Did you hear something? Yes. I thought I heard someone say... Hello! It's Mummy Rabbit with Rebecca and Richard. Hello, Peppa. We're lost. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. We're lost too. We wanted to go to the playground. So did we. But it's too foggy to get there. Come on, everyone. Back to our house until the fog clears. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. This way. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Aha! I've found our little hill. We'll soon be home. Hooray! Like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Peppa and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Peppa. It will take a long time to grow. Peppa, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. <laughs> I want strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Peppa. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. I <laughs> will have strawberries. Yes. <laughs> come on, Peppa. Bye-bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye, strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig looks after Peppa's strawberry plant. After many days, Grandpa Pig finds a tiny plant growing. Day by day, the plant grows bigger and bigger. Then one day, Grandpa Pig finds something very special. Strawberries! <coughs> Grandpa, we're back! <coughs> Peppa and George have come to play again. Grandpa, Grandpa, did my plant grow? Yes! <coughs> Look! Ooh! <laughs> What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. 
At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> Here is Granny Pig with her friends. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Have you had a nice morning? Yes, thank you, Granny. Why are you wearing funny clothes? We have been doing historical reenactment. What's hysterical redemactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We march around saying, Beni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means, anyone for another cup of tea? No. <laughs> it means, I came, I saw, I conquered. Benny Vidi Vici. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant! Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. 
Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> Here is Granny Pig with her friends. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Have you had a nice morning? Yes, thank you, Granny. Why are you wearing funny clothes? We have been doing historical reenactment. What's hysterical redemactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye! <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We march around saying, Beni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means, anyone for another cup of tea? No. <laughs> it means, I came, I saw, I conquered. Benny Vidi Vici. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Benny Vidi Vici. Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. They? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Remember, kids. Eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes! He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave <laughs> Mr. Potato goodbye. <laughs> oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. I cannot get out! Mr. Potato is stuck! Help! Let me out! What shall we do? Help! Call help. for Super Potato! Let me out! Super, Super Potato! potato. Super I potato. think he might be Super too potato. busy to come! No, really? Really? Super I do potato. not think that will work this time! No, Madam Gazelle, you just need to shout out with us! Okay! Help us, Super, Super potato. potato! There, it didn't work! Now I think we What's need to... that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Super Potato has come to the rescue. Using my super vegetable vision, I can see that my friend here is in trouble. Yes, you have to get him out. I will use my fruity strength to lift this roof off. <laughs> Super Potato has rescued Mr. Potato. Hooray! And remember, kids, when trouble calls... Eat your fruit and vegetables! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Seven! Always remember to eat your seven. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
now, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Peppa. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <laughs> what is that monstrosity? Is it a sailing club? Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grumpy Rabbit! Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh, dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! <laughs> I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hats! Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself. You'd never guess, would you? We don't need that bit. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's all right, then. Nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail! It's that monstrosity again! Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this Ride of Doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe! Wow! <laughs> Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Ah! Wait for me! Ah! Ah! If that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant! Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. <sighs> Daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. We can put George in it. <laughs> uh, no, I think that might be a bit dangerous. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. Whoopee! <laughs> Let's see what it can do. Wow! The toy aeroplane is doing a loop-the-loop. -loop. 
Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Let's try something even more exciting. Watch out for the house, Grandpa! Oh, it's fine. The door is open. Now, where is that juice? What was that? Aha! You see, I know what I'm doing. Clever, Grandpa! Now, I just need to land it. Gently does it. For everyone. Ah, Granny Pig. Perfect timing. What is that? Um, it's a toy aeroplane. A big toy aeroplane. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa did some fancy flying. And Dolly, did you enjoy your playtime with Pepper and George? Grandpa put Dolly in the aeroplane. Yes, yes. We've all had a lovely time. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Pepper and George love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. George's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your Bottom, George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <laughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <laughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No, but I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. Hmm, <laughs> I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm. Too much colour. What about this, then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm. What about this, then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. Miss Rabbit, please come to my palace to get a medal for all your hard work. Bring friends, all the best, the Queen. Ooh. Miss Rabbit has fainted. I can't visit the Queen. I've got too much work to do. Relax. No one will be working that day. The Queen has made it a holiday. Hooray! <laughs> it is the day Miss Rabbit visits the Queen. Pepper and her friends are going too. We're off to see the Queen. We're off to see the Queen. This is the Queen's Palace. Hello? Is anybody there? Look at all that fancy stuff. Don't touch anything. Oops! What a big house! Lots of room for a queen to kick a ball about. Where is the queen? Queen! Queen! Where are you? Hello. 
Have you seen the Queen today? She's an old lady with a crown on her head. I am the Queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! It's very good of you to steer the boat, Grampy Rabbit. Uh, but I'm not steering the boat. I thought somebody else was. Oh, dear. No one is steering the boat. We're lost at sea. And look, Grampy Rabbit's boat is sinking. Don't panic! I've been in worse situations than this. Really? No, this is the worst. <laughs> we're saved! But we're stuck on a desert island. With just the sea and the sky for company. And we haven't got any food. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh, dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea. Help! Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. Help! What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Grandad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But, Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jackets on. Aye, Aye Captain, Captain Dog. Full sail. All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there! Hooray! We're, We're saved! Dinosaur. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. <sighs> It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Roar! <gasps> George! Dino Roar, Dino Roar, Dino Roar has woken me up! Dino Maybe Dino Roar should sleep Dino Roar somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar. 
in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Yeah. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. Ho ah! oh, ho! Oh. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. Okay. We'll take Mr. Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr. Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye bye, Mr. Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr. Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh. He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow, he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr. Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. Can we find a little place for this? Uh, no. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Pepper. And he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. <laughs> And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! There's this as well! Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Ball. Goodbye! Bye bye! What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh. And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? Of course, Peppa. Here's a little coin. I wish, I wish, I wish. The show is about to begin. Um, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro! Oh, Pedro.
Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh! Sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Whose phone is that? That really is the show starting. Welcome to the Mr Potato's Christmas Show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh! Hello, children. I am Mr. Potato. This is Mrs. Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favorite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Little Sprout gone? Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> if you see him, boys and girls, shout out, There's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it! When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> there you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> It's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snowplow. Snowplows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr. Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr. Bull. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Miss <laughs> Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're The beach is covered in snow. That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are 
Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! I love the seaside. And I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Bread, carrots and... What's wrong? You talk too much. You go blah, 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 blah. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox? That's right. Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes, why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> this is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm, mmm. You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. <coughs> do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you... You look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> But it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. 
Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. <laughs> Best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush. Like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. And she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black... Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. 